In this episode, things get real. I finish my foam pattern and I do my first casting. Welcome back guys. This bearing allows the mask to rotate incorporating some 5mm acetyl rollers and some acetyl balls that take the end load. This is a 3D view of the casting and it has some spigots there and it shows the sprue which will be cut off of course. I'm quite happy to be using some of this old packaging foam for some of this. I'm going to be gluing these blocks together with hot glue. Just dabs of hot glue. Apparently that's okay, but ideally it should be low temperature hot glue. Although this kind of turned out okay, <coughs> there are a couple of problems with it. This join, <coughs> that would concern me that the whole casting might be compromised because of that join. And I don't have the material to fill it. Apparently there's a low temperature wax you can use. Um, <coughs> it's quite soft polystyrene. That allows, which is quite good in some ways. But I went to town and I bought a low temperature um, hot glue gun because my normal hot glue gun, when I put the hot glue between to make this join, although it's kind of worked, was really melting the material, melting the foam too much. I looked at some videos online at lunchtime and the trick is to use a low temperature hot glue gun. Well, we'll find out. I went to a local manufacturer of um, polystyrene and they gave me that big off cut. So we'll give that a go. Yeah, that's better. Theoretically, it's close to being finished. Although I would, um, I wish I had some low temperature wax to cove those corners a little bit. I'll do some research on that tonight. Okay guys, what I'm doing here is after completing the mould, it's a bit rough and ready, but all the faces pretty much will be machined, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just coating it with a bit of um, drywall slurry um, that I've mixed up. And what this will hopefully do my concern is that the um, sand inside here, this cavity, will, um, because it's just loose sand, as the metal runs around and burns off the foam, it might drop into that cavity. So um, I'm just doing this to prevent that. It's a bit of a precaution. It may be unnecessary, but um, there's so many things that can go wrong with um, this type of casting. And now, while that's drying off, that's probably all I need to put in there. Um, so I'll get the rest of the gear ready now while this dries off. Well, I did about four coatings, brushed on four coatings of um, the drywall mix. I'm pretty certain it's 100% dry. Everything's ready to go. I'm just going to set this in the pot here and try and get make sure sand goes right through the hole that's my only concern and that's one of the reasons i slurried the hole i don't even expect to get a quarter of the way through that got some coal just to help with things a bit blower's good to go i was thinking of modifying the furnace of course as has been pointed out ideally it would have refractory inside it but that would make it a more complicated job for something I might only use once or twice and I was thinking of blocking these holes and putting little V's here around the edge so that the flame had to go up past the crucible not go out the holes without adding the last bit of heat into it I've got three kgs of ingots ready to go I expect that I'll need another quarter of this wheel so chop around halfway down to halfway down I'm gonna use less than four by my calculations I've got some pool filter sand. I might need it to get another bag. We'll see when we tip it in. But maybe I better get another bag as well, just in case.
Well guys, I think that went well. I had the fan roaring away, apparently that's what you do, because as you can saw, you can get a puff of um, burning polystyrene popping out. It used up about the right amount, I did make some extra. Now we just wait. How long do we have to wait? Apparently like a quarter of an hour or something. First time guys, this is the first time. I didn't realise that it was taking so long to melt because see that ledge inside the crucible there? Things were hanging up on there. It was molten within about half an hour, which is pretty good. But it wasn't going down and it wasn't going down. And then I realised it was hanging up. It was jammed. I think it's taken about an hour and a quarter. It would have been much quicker if that hadn't, if that hadn't hung up because I was having to refuel it. Uh, about three quarters of the way through the port. The can sunk down a bit, everything sunk down. <laughs> I can see already there's a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Ah, I suspected. Suspected because, as you can see, just here, the sand sinks. <laughs> oh, it froze in the... I think it froze here. Now, I never really expected the first one to be successful going by other people's experiences. And right I was. It did... I'll have to look at the video a bit closer, but it did pop at one point, which you expect, which may have put a big gas pocket in there and then the top froze. I'm, I might have to bite the bullet and buy a temperature gun, like an infrared temperature gun, and make sure the temperature's right before I pour it. It's got to be, I think, 720 degrees. I think my sprue mightn't have been big enough. The can mightn't have been big enough. There's one or two people who follow my channel who know a lot more about casting than I do, so I'm hoping for their advice. Yeah, it froze up, I think. <clears throat> temperature possibly wasn't hot enough. I think the sand collapsed right down to this surface here. And that sand in there didn't really seem to collapse, which I was expecting to be a problem if there was a problem. So it was a good opportunity today because the weather was good. I think it's going to rain tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So um, this video may go out before you see a finished result that I can machine up so if you've made it through this far thanks for watching if you enjoyed it give the channel a like and a subscribe if you haven't we'll see you next time it might not be so exciting I hope right that's enough for the day.